Hi, this is Rick Tesca here to bring some breaking news about Badger Care Plus and Medicaid programs here in Strive Medicare's home state of Wisconsin. Many people currently enrolled in Badger Care Plus and Wisconsin Medicaid programs are expected to lose their health care coverage as early as this summer and throughout the remainder of the year. You could be affected if you are in any of the following programs that are geared for those also Medicare eligible. Badger Care Plus, the Qualified Medicare Beneficiary Program, Senior Care Prescription Drug Assistance Program, SLMB and SLMB Plus programs, and the Supplemental Security Income Medicaid Program. COVID-19 emergency provisions put in place by the federal government have allowed members of those programs to keep their current coverage without having to go through the standard renewal process to determine program eligibility. You could very well be receiving benefits or be enrolled into a program that you no longer qualify for and maybe haven't for a while. The federal government will determine the specific date the COVID-19 emergency provisions end and at that time you will need to provide your state office with details about your current health and financial situation. Everyone will have to submit for renewal once a federal public emergency lifts. Upon submitting the review requirements, the state will determine if you are still eligible or not eligible for your program benefits. Here's a clip from Channel 3000 that talks about it. Right now, there are about a half a million more people on Badger Care in Wisconsin than there was on average before the pandemic. That's because the feds stopped states from taking people off Medicaid during the pandemic. But that ban could lift soon with the state now warning that at least a few hundred thousand people may be coming off Badger Care as soon as this summer. Naomi Coles has the details. An attorney I spoke with who specializes in health care access for clients told me a rough estimate puts that number at more than 10,000 for Dane County alone. It's not time to panic, but if you are on Badger Care, you'll want to keep an eye on this because everyone will have to go through the renewal process when that federal public health emergency ends. So a lot of folks we are fielding questions from are already asking what to do. The Wisconsin Department of Health and Human Services says to watch for a letter to find out what you'll need to do and when you'll need to do it. State and health care advocates are urging the public to make sure that their contact information, address, email, phone number are all updated on their account so that they will receive the notification once it goes out announcing renewals have started. We second this. Make sure your contact information is up to date and read your mail. This is the best way to avoid a no coverage situation. At Strive Medicare, we've recommended that folks start to take a look at their situations before the renewal and review process starts. Our advisors can help you look at your current program's requirements and your individual situation to see if you are potential at risk of losing coverage. What we want to do is to make sure no one gets lost in the gaps and that the transition to new coverage is made simple. We work with Wisconsinites on Medicare and Medicaid all over the great state and we'd love to talk with you and help. Whether you need a low cost Medicare plan or a prescription plan to cover your meds, we have you covered. Best of all, our services are free and you won't pay a dime more working with us than you would if you went direct to the carrier. We offer you lifetime support as our client, so no more calling the number on the back of your card only to sit on hold or get hung up on. Call the number on the screen to set up a free consultation or click the link in the description to schedule an appointment.